Hey guys, welcome to Mitch's Music. Today we are going to learn Frankenstein by Edgar Winter Group. And uh, Frankenstein, if you have already learned a song like Smoke on the Water, um, this is a, a good next step. Um, the riff at the beginning is very similar. Some of the techniques that it uses are very sim similar to that. So today I'm going to teach you that beginning riff and I'm going to teach you one of the lead parts once the song gets started. And throughout um, next year, I'm going to do little snippets of this instrumental. It's a pretty cool instrumental if you haven't heard it before. Um, but I'm going to slowly teach you how to play it. And this is the first portion of that. So at the end of this video, you'll see a uh, play along with a slow version. Um, of this and a faster version and like I said I'm going to teach you that intro riff and I'm going to teach you um, one of the first lead parts. So this is a part of my Halloween series guys and if you want to get more tabs than just the videos that are on YouTube I'm doing one every day and um, if you sign up for my guitar community in the description below then you can get access to all the tabs all the chords and things like that i'm trying to release different parts some of the easier versions of the song some of the harder versions because on the actual website you'll see a uh, all of these different versions so if you're a brand new guitarist there will be a version that you can play along with as well as if you're more advanced you can play along with these songs as well so check that out in the description click that subscribe button if you like my videos and would like to see more of them and let's get started so the riff starts on the fifth fret of the d and a string and i use my third finger because we're going to be going between the fifth and the third all right and you you want to make sure that you're only playing the a and the d string okay so the first part you're gonna do so three times da, da, da. and then one more and then you're gonna go back da, 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 da. all right let's try that one two Ready and all right. Then you go back to the fifth. So five, 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 three, five, five. Then you're gonna go to three on the D and G, G string. So okay. Then. That's the whole riff. So five, 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 three, five, five, three, five, five, three, five. And then it changes a little bit the second time, but most of it is the same. The second time it goes. So if you notice, this part's the same. The part where it changes is the D and G string. And all I'm doing right there is a hammer on and a pull off. So hammer and then pull off. So. All right, so that's the first riff. Let's go over it one more time. The tab is below, so follow along with that. One, two, Ready and one, two, three, and all right. So the next riff is one of the first guitar riffs. So there's a synthesizer in this song and it's back and forth between a couple of guitars and the synthesizer. Um, but this is the first um, pretty easy guitar riff. So um, you're gonna start on the second fret. Um, so it goes, so second, third, fourth, fifth. And you're, I use all of my fingers. So let's try that really slow. 
slowly. Ready, and... All right, so the whole thing sounds like this. Okay, so let's go over that first part again, so... on the G string, then go to the third, then the fifth. And back to the third. So two, three, four, five, three, five, five, three, five, three. Then you're gonna go to fifth. Then bend, so five, three. So the whole thing really slow. tab at the end that you can play along with. One, two, ready, and... suggest is the tab is below right now and what I would suggest pause the video work around with that riff a little bit get it in your head and then go along with the play along at the end of the video all right so I'll have a slow version and a fast version of both the intro riff and the second riff So stay tuned for that, click that subscribe button, and if you would like to learn more in more detail some of these Halloween songs, then check that out in the description and see what the guitar community is all about. I'll see you next time.